So we just finished talking about the efferent pathways. Um, this video summarizes some of the information that I presented in those videos. Um, as you can see here, it's mostly a summary of the anatomy of the pathways. Um, I want to remind you the efferent division consists of two portions, the somatic motor system and then the autonomic nervous system. Um, the circuitry of the somatic motor pathway is shown here. We have one neuron going from the CNS, the central nervous system, to the target, which is skeletal muscle. Um, we use acetylcholine as our neurotransmitter, and that neurotransmitter is going to bind to nicotinic receptors on our target, which again is skeletal muscle. Okay, so just a reminder, somatic motor pathway controls our voluntary uh, muscle movements through skeletal muscle as its target. Okay, all right, for the autonomic nervous system, we have kind of three main pathways. Um, first one is the parasympathetic pathway. In the parasympathetic pathway, we have a long preganglionic neuron. Um, it is going to uh, secrete acetylcholine onto nicotinic receptors at this ganglion. Okay, and then from the ganglion, our postganglionic neuron, which is short, is going to secrete acetylcholine onto muscarinic receptors on the target. Okay, in the sympathetic pathway, again, this is our, our fight or flight response. Okay, what's going to happen is we're going to have our preganglionic neuron coming from the CNS, central nervous system, to our ganglion. At the ganglion, we're going to secrete acetylcholine onto nicotinic receptors, same as what we had up here in the parasympathetic pathway. And then at the target, our, our long postganglionic neuron is going to secrete norepinephrine onto, onto adrenergic receptors. So here it's the adrenergic receptors are shown separately as the alpha and the beta-1 receptors, but they're adrenergic. Okay, and then finally, in our modified, uh, uh, modified sympathetic pathway, um, we use the adrenal gland here, right? So this is the adrenal sympathetic pathway. We have a preganglionic neuron coming out to the adrenal medulla. Um, it then commands the chromaffin cells of the adrenal medulla to secrete epinephrine, also known as adrenaline, into the bloodstream, okay? And then the adrenaline, the epinephrine that is in the bloodstream can bind to adrenergic receptors on those targets in the body, okay? So I wanna remind you that, um, well, I haven't spent that much, I haven't emphasized the targets that much, but I wanna remind you that the autonomic nervous system is responsible for our sort of um, internal, regulating our internal state. So these are going to be the targets. It's gonna be smooth muscle, cardiac muscle, uh, various glands in our bodies in our, and adipose tissue, okay? All right, finally, I just wanna point out to you that we have this table in our textbook, which kind of summarizes, again, all of the information, not all of it, but much of the information that I've given you about the efferent pathways. Um, okay, thank you for watching. Goodbye.